Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Quick Looks video. And the subject of this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule Collection Autobot Springer. So taking a quick look at the packaging, this is the all enclosed box that all of the wreckers have been coming in. And the front of the box shows some great artwork of Springer springing into battle. You got him in helicopter mode and transforming into robot mode. Don't understand why they didn't have car mode to helicopter mode to robot mode, but hey, I'm not the graphic designer for Hasbro. Transformers on the side, Transformers Legacy, Wreck and Rule Collection, Autobot Springer, back of the box, show Springer in his robot mode, helicopter mode, and car mode. This side of the box, the Autobot artwork, this side of the box, the Decepticon artwork, and the top of the box, Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection. So now, without further ado, let's get Springer sprung from this box and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Springer all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. That's a very big sheet of instructions that just seems to keep going and going. He also comes with a piece of the cardboard wrecker's hammer. One more piece to go. He comes with two pistols that can combine to form one giant rifle. He has his fidget spinner or helicopter blade spinner and two swords slash helicopter blades. And then of course we've got Springer himself. Now, Wreck and Rule Springer here is a straight up repaint of Siege Springer, a figure I really didn't like at the time. I thought that Hasbro way overdid it with the Siege smudge that they have all over this figure. I just didn't like it. Plus, I cannot stand the feet on this figure. I hate the way those are. Now, the Siege Springer, his feet aren't as bad as the new Wreck and Rule Springer. His feet are a little loose, and as you can see, it, they tend to drop right back unless you angle him forward like so. But really, that's about my only big complaint with this figure, because I do appreciate the fact that one doesn't have any of the Siege smudge. And I love the fact that the Wreck and Rule Springer is a direct homage to the original Generation 1 figure. I mean, look at that. That is awesome yellow chest green arms gray shoulders green thighs gray legs just like the generation one version i love it so now let's go ahead and take a closer look at these two together as you can see there is a lot of differences in the coloring of these figures you've got a green chest on siege yellow chest on wreck and rule the yellow shoulders the gray shoulders so on and so forth and there's also some color differences in the weapons. If you look at Siege Springer's pistol, it's kind of a blue gray, where the Wreck and Rule pistol is a light gray. Then you have the sword, which is that blue gray as well, where the Wreck and Rule is a dark gray. Now, something cool I discovered when I was messing around with this Springer earlier, say your Generation 1 Springer right here, you can make your Wreck and Rule Springer look a lot more G1. Just take the shoulder pads here and flip these up. 
Let's see, how did I do this earlier? Yeah, if you bring these little tabs here down, bring the shoulders up, you still have the same range of motion, but now he's got a much better G1 aesthetic. And of course, like I said, the damn feet on this thing, I have to hold him up. I hate that. I guess I'm gonna have to hit him with some floor polish or nail polish. Who knows, he needs a good stiff one. So now, see, damn it. It's always something with these wreck and rule figures. I think the only one that I've got that had no issues whatsoever was Impactor. So there you go, guys. There is Springer in robot mode. Let's check him out in car mode. In car mode, I think I'm gonna have to give it to Siege Springer. I just like the way his collars look in vehicle mode a little bit better than the wreck and rule Springer. But once again, there's no denying the G1 toy influences with the wreck and rule Springer. I think that looks so good. Now, of course, you can mount the weapons on top of wreck and rule spinner, just like you did with the siege. I've got the swords tabbed on to the gun. You can also take the helicopter rotor and attach it like so, but I just think that's stupid. Now, my personal favorite way to display these just leave the swords to the side, separate the blasters, and put them right on the front of the vehicle, just like that. I think that looks pretty badass. So taking a closer look at the vehicle, I love the looks of this thing. I just love the G1 toy look. The color scheme looks great, but like I said, I think I like all the blend of colors a little bit better with the vehicle mode for Siege Springer. So there you go. There is Siege Springer in car mode. Now let's check him out in helicopter mode. Now in helicopter mode, I actually prefer the Wreckers version to the Siege version. I think I just like the cleaner look for the helicopter. Looks really, really good. I, mean, I love this figure. I love the color scheme with this guy. He is just so generation one, it hurts. So here is Wrecker Springer in helicopter mode with G1 Springer in helicopter mode. And just look at that. I love that. Wrecker Springer is the figure for you G1ers. I think you guys will really like that. But all in all, still, they're both really good figures. And I'm really glad that I have both of them. The Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule Collection Springer is another Wreck and Rule figure that really surprised me. When I first saw him, I was like, oh man, Springer? But I got him anyway, and I am pleasantly surprised because I absolutely love the look of this figure. As I said in review, he is so Generation 1, it hurts, and I love it. He just looks so clean compared to the Siege version. And I really hope that Toy Hacks gives us a set of decals that really adds to the G1 aesthetic of this figure. So does an Amazon exclusive Wreck and Roll Springer belong in your collection? Well, if you missed out on the first one, or if you're an old G1er like me, absolutely. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!